If you've ever used a blockchain like Ethereum, you've probably noticed those gas fees that appear every time you make a transaction, whether you're sending crypto or interacting with a smart contract. Ever wondered why these gas fees keep popping up and why you have to pay them every single time? Simply put, gas fees are the costs associated with executing transactions and smart contracts on the network. Ethereum introduced the term gas as a unit of measure to handle the execution of smart contracts and allocate network resources efficiently. Just like how gas fuels a car, allowing it to move, gas on Ethereum fuels the execution of operations on the network. Every operation on Ethereum consumes a certain number of gas units, based on the computational effort required. Simple transactions like sending ETH might use around 21,000 gas units, while interacting with complex smart contracts can consume much more. Gas prices are quoted in GUI, which equals to a tiny one billionth of an ETH. For context, GUI is short for GigaWay, which means one billion way. Way is the smallest denomination of ETH, just like how Satoshis are the smallest denomination of Bitcoin. The total cost of your transaction is thus calculated by multiplying the gas units used by the cost for each unit of gas. Wallets typically do this for you automatically, but settings can be customized for advanced users. First, when you send a transaction or interact with a smart contract, you're asking the network to perform computational work on your behalf. This work consumes real computational power and energy from the computers, or nodes, that run the Ethereum network. Gas fees compensate the network participants who run these nodes for the resources they use to process and validate your transactions. Gas fees also play a key role in keeping the network secure. Imagine if using a network like Ethereum was completely free. Malicious users could exploit this by spamming the network with endless computational loops. By requiring a gas fee for every operation, the network creates an expensive barrier against such abuse. Gas fees also help regulate how the network handles high demand. Since fees are higher during busy periods, this encourages users who aren't in a rush to wait until the network is less congested, helping to balance the load. There are tools that provide real-time information on gas fees, helping you choose the right time to transact when fees are lower. Finally on Ethereum, a portion of the gas fee you pay is burnt, which permanently removes it from circulation. This has multiple purposes. For one, it creates a system that prevents manipulation of the fee markets by block producers. Destroying ETH also helps offset ETH issuance, keeping it at a sustainable rate. If demand is high, ETH could become deflationary as more ETH is burnt than created. This is why proponents of Ethereum often refer to ETH as ultrasound money. And you can learn more about that meme right here.